the first thing we need to do is check the relative humidity in the room. Per standard ANSI ESD S20.20, these tests should be done at a low 12% relative humidity, plus or minus 3%, and a moderate 50% humidity, plus or minus 3%. For periodic verification, it is important to note the relative humidity before performing these tests as the results can vary with humidity. It is also recommended to perform the tests at a similar relative humidity as your normal working conditions. Testing the mats top to top or point to point resistance. After checking the relative humidity, the next thing we need to do is ground the mat. Snap the ground to the mat then plug the cord into the grounding cube and plug the cube into a wall outlet or a common point ground. Some people use a multimeter to measure the mat's top-to-top -top resistance. This method is not recommended because, as we shall demonstrate, this method cannot measure an accurate resistance value high enough to meet standard ANSI ESD S4.1. Turn the multimeter dial to the ohm position. The display reads 0.L. This means the resistance is greater than the meter can measure. The standard requires the leads to be 10 to 12 inches apart, but even with the leads close together, there is no reading on the multimeter. Testing resistance to ground or top to ground. In this test, we will measure any point on the mat to ground using the multimeter. Place one lead on the mat and the other to the grounding snap or common ground. As you can see, the meter does not read high enough to measure the resistance. As a result, the multimeter methods are invalid tests because the meter cannot measure a high enough value. Now we will demonstrate the proper method to measure the mat's top-to-top -top or point-to-point -point resistance using two 5-pound electrodes and a resistance meter. This method is recommended because, as you will see, this method will measure an accurate resistance value. ANSI ESD S4.1 standard requires an exact diameter of electrodes and with a weight of 5 pounds. This will place an equal amount of pressure on the mat. Place the two 5 pound probes 10 to 12 inches apart on the mat and connect them to a resistance meter. As we can see, this resistance meter can measure from 10 to the 3rd to 10 to the 14th ohms. Turn on the meter and press test. The meter reads 4.2 times 10 to the 6 ohms. Testing the mat's resistance to ground or top to ground resistance using a 5 pound probe and a resistance meter. Connect one electrode into the resistance meter and another lead from the resistance meter to the ground snap on the mat or any common point ground. Place the probe at least 2 inches away from the ground snap and at least 3 inches away from any edge. Turn on the resistance meter, then press test. The meter reads 2.4 times 10 to the 6 ohms. A good range is anywhere from 1 times 10 to the 6th to 1 times 10 to the 9th ohms. As we have demonstrated, the use of the 5 pound electrodes and a resistance meter is the proper testing method when testing an ESD mat's top to top and top to ground resistance. It is important to use the proper equipment when performing these tests and it is recommended to perform these tests periodically to verify that the product meets ANSI ESD S20.20. If you do not have the proper equipment or you are unable to perform these tests, it is recommended that you obtain third-party verification or for you to purchase your ESD supplies from a reliable source. Did you know American Hako performs these tests on their CHP brand ESD products? American Hako has a wide selection of synthetic rubber, natural rubber, and vinyl CHP ESD mats, as well as a wide assortment of ESD supplies, including wrist straps, heel straps, finger cots, grounding kits, gloves, bags, tapes, and labels. For a reliable source for your ESD supplies, call American Hako at 1-800-88-HAKO or visit us online at hakousa.com. Thanks for watching! Thank you.